Hi there, thanks for joining me. It's Sarah from Ruffles and Ray Boots, and today I'm answering one of the most asked questions I get, how do we make and style gnome beards? We have a ton of different options for fabrics, for furs, for yarns, but today we're gonna be focused on how to cut it and how to style it. So first up, what are the different types of faux fur? This is a very inexpensive faux fur. It usually comes on a, a package uh, made by Doris or one of those other companies you can get at Joann's. Then we have fur on a bolt like these. So we have a white fur that you can get at Joann's, but this is a Mongolian. This, there are three different styles. There's very different textures between the three of them. And all of them can be used for any gnome beards, right? There's no uh, rhyme or reason. You just choose what you choose for your budget or the gnome. So I will tell you, although there are many ways to rip and cut faux fur, I prefer a razor blade. And it's really simple because I can't cut through more than this fabric. So we're gonna make sure the pile of the fur is down. And then we're going to just gently pull the piece away. And you can see I'm just cutting the fur backing so just that fabric right so you can see there's none of this long gorgeous luscious mongolian fur is cut okay so let's go and look at the difference between pile that was cut correctly and pile that was not so <clears throat> excuse me i have two samples here one on the top you see how it's going all of which ways that's because we're trying to force this fur in a direction however when it's cut correctly it looks like this it comes out a perfect little beard triangle. So let's go into a little bit more detail. I'm gonna show you how I would actually size it for my project. So here we're going to use a sock gnome, and this is my Halloween sock gnome. It's really easy to make, um, but you make the body, and then what you're gonna do is cut about a one inch down. I like this because it's going to give you a little bit of give and a little bit of grace when you're putting on the hat. So after you know how wide you're gonna be making it, you're gonna mark where it's going to fall at the base because all of that fur, like this, will extend beyond the faux fur fabric line. So we wanna make sure we cut it higher so we don't waste any of this fur. So just make a mark. I don't normally make marks, but um, you can use a white pencil or a fabric marker and make the marks. And then we're just going to do it. Doesn't matter if you're cutting on an angle, doesn't matter if you're cutting straight up and down, either way, you're just cutting the backing and you're gently pulling the pieces away from each other. It's a really simple process. You only need to do it once right and then you're, you have a little light bulb go off, right? And then to match the angle and match the sides, you can just lay it over and cut the rest of the way. See, it's a really, and then you just pull it apart, just like we said, and look at this beautiful beard. This is a wraparound beard, you don't have to make them this big but you can see it 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 wraps around the whole entire thing and then it has a nice little dangle so it covers where the feet would be and then once you have it in place you can either brush it down with your fingers or you can style it so I use this I think it's a cat brush <laughs> I don't have a cat but I thought that it was really easy to use because what you're gonna do is you're gonna gently not go all the way down to the actual fabric backing but you're just gonna brush it down and now most of the time you won't have any of this Mongolian fur pulled away uh, some of the cheaper craft fur I do actually pull out when I'm styling uh, but it is not a lot and if you go really gently and really smoothly you can come up with really any style that you want so you can kind of see if you have a knot you just take the end and just push it down you know if you really want a nice smooth polished look Mongolian fur and fabric fur that is purchased on a bolt, like at a craft store, those are easy, easy to style. Okay, so another one of the questions that I get all the time, you can see that really polished look there, is how to make a mustache. Now you don't have to do this. So there's, you know, you can make a mustache a couple ways. The first one is just to split the beard that you've already made, right? So you just split it and you place your gnome nose right in the center. Another way is to take an extra piece of faux fur, make sure, again, the pile is pointed down, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a rectangle. Now that rectangle doesn't have to even be as wide as your entire beard, because what we're gonna do is normally a gnome hat's gonna come down on the sides, right? So you can see for that you know, couple inch piece of fur, uh, for the beard, I'm just gonna make a small mustache, uh, a strip here, 
We can brush it down, make it pretty, and then we're just gonna split it. This is it. Sometimes I use a pencil, so I stick a pencil in there. Sometimes I use my finger. Sometimes I just pull it apart and hope for the best. But it's not really anything. You don't have to hairspray it. You don't have to set it with a setting spray. All these uh, you know, extra steps are moot. All you need to do is just split it and then glue it right here on top of your beard. And then your gnome nose goes right in the center. So you can see, <coughs> excuse me, you can see whether you're gonna style it like a handlebar mustache or you're just gonna style it as um, even a rough and tumbly kind of uh, rugged beard. Either way, this method works really, really well. If you're using yarn or other materials, we'll get to those later, but what do you think? Let us know in the comments below if this was helpful. Please like this video. Finally, subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots for more crafty fun.